Boxing legend Muhammad Ali once admitted that he might not have been able to handle a punch from Mike Tyson if the two had ever fought. Ali is widely considered the greatest heavyweight boxer there has ever been. As far as notoriety goes, Tyson is not far behind at all. Team Ali is usually comprised of older gentlemen. They dig in and say Ali was entirely too fast for a lumbering half-wit like Mike Tyson. While Team Tyson is normally composed of younger gentlemen. They dig in and defend Mike Tyson's Herculean punching power and intimidating persona. Team Tyson always, and I mean always, predicts a quick knockout from Kid Dynamite. However let's compare and see who will win. 1. Style. Ali created his own style. Instead of using his arms to block, he leaned back to avoid punches. He threw a variety of looping punches and he was a headhunter with little concern for body shots while Tyson always moved straight ahead. At his most effective, he was a combination puncher but Ali would keep him disoriented longer. Ali 1, Tyson 0. 2. Power. Ali had 37 knockouts in his career but 25 of them were TKOs as long as Tyson ended 41% of his fights in the first round and he registered 21 true knockouts and 23 TKOs. Ali won, Tyson won. 3. Speed. Ali is the clear winner when it comes to foot speed. He had quick hands as well but his hand speed wasn't as lethal as his foot speed. Tyson's hand speed was just as impressive but he wasn't as fast when it came to foot speed so Ali might seem like a winner on this point even though his foot speed failed him several times since he took severe punishment from Max Schmeling, Oscar Bonavina, Joe Fraser, and Ken Norton. Tyson's persistent pressure would nullify Ali's foot speed. Ali 1, Tyson 2. 4. Chin. Tyson's chin was relatively non-existent. Lennox Lewis and Buster Douglas both KO'd him on the chin. In contrast, Ali's chin is legendary. Ali's face was used as a punching bag by George Foreman himself. His only KO was against Larry Holmes at 38 while Tyson was knocked out five times. Ali 2, Tyson 2. 5. Defense. Ali's defense was purely instinctive. His arms were never in a defensive position and Tyson's favorite left hook would definitely get him. Tyson himself didn't have the best defense either. However, he wasn't open all the time like Ali. Ali 2, Tyson 3. 6. Heart. Tyson could certainly dominate a fight but he didn't possess the will to dig deep. When the chips were stacked against him, he folded. Ali was a true warrior. However Ken Norton broke his jaw early in their first fight, yet Ali fought for at least seven rounds, he was also put down in several fights that he went on to win. Ali 3, Tyson 3. 7. Psychology. Psychology was a major factor for both Ali and Tyson. Ali used psychology as a weapon. Tyson used it as a crutch. It was hard for him to defeat an opponent who didn't fear him. Tyson's confidence was also tied to Cuz D'Amato, but Ali was a psychological machine. He unnerved Sonny Liston by showing up at his training camp, he distracted opponents with pre-fight taunts, poems and jokes. Ali 4, Tyson 3. 8. Stamina and Endurance. Tyson was a power fighter. He only had 32% of his fights go past the fourth round. I had a lung problem. That's why my fights didn't last long," he admitted in his documentary. With Ali, 85% of fights went past the fourth round. Tyson lost six fights and five of those losses came after the fourth round. Ali fought 56 fights, while Tyson fought 58, but Ali fought in 541 rounds and Tyson only went 211 and that's a 330 round difference. Ali 5, Tyson 3. 9. Key Losses. Ali had three legitimate losses. Ken Norton, Joe Fraser and Leon Spinks. Fraser was the first man to beat him, however, Ali won in their next two fights. 
Norton was a heavy underdog and won his first bout with Ali in a split decision but Ali went on to defeat Ken Norton two more times. Tyson had four legitimate losses, two to Holyfield, one to Lennox Lewis and one to Buster Douglas. All these opponents had similar physical characteristics but they all had longer reach. Tyson had a 71-inch reach, it made him most effective in close quarters but it gave him trouble against tall fighters. Ali was a tall fighter who moved and applied constant pressure. Ali 6, Tyson 3. Muhammad Ali wins and Tyson goes down based on our opinion, please give your opinion in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video.